Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. So today I've got another skincare review and I'm very excited to share the first product that I've ever reviewed from Alpha H, which I have right here. I've got, I've already taken it out of the box. It's the multivitamin super cream with vitamins A, B, C and E. That's the box, that's the cream. So it's been packaged really, really well. Um, it comes in one of these like airless, like pumps so you can like push the product up, scoop it off and put it on your face. So they say that this is a, like a multivitamin for your face. The brands say that a lot of the vitamins that we put like in our bodies via our food or whether we take supplements, um, they rarely kind of get to the surface of the skin. So they kind of have created this product um, as like a substitute for a uh, multivitamin for your, but for your face. Um, obviously a multivitamin is A to Z, this is A to E, so not quite as many, but they have got some really good ingredients in. Um, I've actually got this on my phone because I wanted to make sure that I don't miss anything out. Um, okay, so the A, by the way, you can use this day and night. Um, it hasn't got um, an AHA exfoliator in or any or a BHA either. The A is retinol to use during the day, I know. Um, B is um, niacinamide, which will increase production of ceramides and fatty acids to build moisture. Um, C is vitamin C and they use ethyl ascorbic acid and this will brighten the skin tone and provide antioxidant protection. And then finally, vitamin E, um, which promotes healing, hydration and repair. In addition to that, this has also got um, a pollution shield in it, which will help with... Um, they say it's an innovative polymer that acts like a microscopic net over the skin to kind of like catch any um, free radicals caused by pollution. And then it's also got something else in it to add um, extra hydration to the skin. So this is really like a multifunctional all-in-one cream, which is pretty amazing to be honest. I've been using and loving, you know, a lot of the products like from The Ordinary, for instance, that are like the single um, ingredient products, which they're amazing. There's no going um, about that. They're, they're incredible um, what you get for the price. But it is nice just to have everything all in one tub that you can just, um, you know, apply on your face and then you're good to go. So they say that you can use it day and night, which is interesting because obviously it's got retinol in and I'm not used to using retinol during the day, but providing that you put your um, SPF over the top, then you can definitely use that without any problems. Um, it's gentle. It didn't um, irritate my skin when I first started using it, considering it has got retinol and vitamin C in. I found it perfectly gentle. The one I could feel it working at the same time, though, but the one thing that I will say is that um, I feel like it would be a good idea to not just go in and start using it every day or use it morning and night. I feel like you still need to build your um, tolerance up to it. Um, even if you are kind of using a retinol or a vitamin C already, um, just because they're together, it's a different type of product than you've probably been using previously. So it's always good to just allow your skin to adjust to it. So I've just been using it in the day. I didn't use it every day. I kind of used it, left a day in between, and then um, built it up from there. So then, because like the first day, no irritation. And then the second time I used it, I could kind of start to feel like that. It's almost like a um, mildly sunburned feeling. If you've gone out in the sun the next day, you haven't burned, but you can kind of feel that slight tenderness on your skin the next day. That's what I get sometimes when I start using my like actives and I can feel them working. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something where I can feel like they're working. The second time I used this, I got that. Um, so I felt like it was a good idea just to like wait in between. And then, yeah, I just went every other day and then eventually like built myself up from there. And then I haven't been using it in the evening. But what they have done, which I've got here, is um, because this hasn't got an AHA in, it frees up um, an evening use for the... Um, liquid gold which is alpha h's um it's their like hero product the one that everyone talks about and everyone loves um i've got this here this will be getting reviewed later on um so if you're using that in the day then it allows you to perhaps use the liquid gold at night or if you're 
really kind of advanced with your with your skincare regime and your skin can tolerate like certain things then perhaps you could use the um the, uh, liquid gold and then this on top and then you're really getting everything but i think when you're combining that many actives you have to be you have to be really really careful not to overload your skin and also you don't want to confuse your skin because i think that if you just like throw every if you throw like an aha you throw vitamin a you throw vitamin c all of these things at your skin like they all act in different ways within the skin and i just feel like it's, it's just too much personally so i just love to use this during the day i feel like now's the perfect time of year to use it because it's getting a little bit colder i've got my central heating on a little bit now and so to go from like a serum to like a cream where it just does everything in one go is really good and because of that i just apply it straight onto clean skin in the morning i just put an eye cream around my eye area and then i just i do take it up towards um my eye but not obviously too close to the eye socket where it's going to potentially go in or anything like that but but by putting the eye cream on first that creates a buffer around that area but if you are sensitive or anything like that then um be careful before you do that you know just make sure that you know your skin and how it might react to the product um so i wouldn't go straight in and apply it anywhere near um the eye area until you're sure that your skin can tolerate it um, I will say that um, being that it's a cream, I still need to go on top with like another cream before I then go on with my SPF or any makeup. It's not enough as a moisturiser as it is. Um, so I just go on with like another little layer of moisturiser or I put some hyaluronic acid on top or something like that. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. So yeah, really love this. I'm also going to write a little blog post to accompany it, which will be um, linked down below as soon as it's available. Um, and if you've got any comments or anything like that, then um, you can let me know down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.